All right. If you guys watched our previous video on smoking these bad boys here, what we used in the brine was brown sugar and pickling salt. This time we found another recipe and it's supposed to be really, really good. It's gonna make it a lot sweeter. So what we're gonna add this time is the brown sugar again, but we're gonna add some honey in it too and maple syrup and you have to use Canadian maple syrup. It's supposed, it is, it is the best you can buy. Makes it so much sweeter, ask anybody who lives in Canada. The other things we're gonna be adding is pepper flakes, pickling salt, that's what it is. I got my little cheat sheet here. So honey, brown sugar, pickling salt, maple syrup, and pepper flakes. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna clean these up really quick. We got some, look at these guys. Of course I didn't record, I should have recorded, but these are these big freaking slabs we got today. I don't know, the bite was awesome because the time we went out, it was noon. They should have been biting this much. It was really, really freaking good. If you guys wanna know how to clean these, go back some videos, I show you how to do them. Trout, it's really easy, it's not really hard. And then we're gonna move to the kitchen and make the brine. Oh, and I'm so excited, I got a new knife. If you guys watch the other one, the, the blade like goes beep, 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 beep. It's absolutely trash, you gotta have a good knife. It's probably too sharp. It's probably just gonna freaking cut right through the spine. We're gonna make a mess. That's how we get the uh, guts out, real easy. Now some people don't take the pin bones out, I do. I just don't like bones. And there's a lot of little kids, so I mean, we always take them out, you lose a little bit more, but it's not that bad. Look at the eggs in this lady, holy cow. If I could let this focus on and get out of the pictures too. Oh baby, look at this thing, man. Oh, it's so red, and they're so red is because shrimp. They eat so much freshwater shrimp and it makes it so red. The redder the better. That is beautiful. Oh baby. Big rainbow. Let's freaking go. It's freaking cool. <laughs> I'm so excited to smoke these. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so so sweet. Oh, especially with the honey and the maple syrup. Oh, I'm gonna cut my finger off. I'm gonna pay attention here. All right, these gorgeous things are ready for the brine next. Look at them, they're so nice, they're so nice. Oh my gosh. So, that's gonna end this. We're gonna continue in the house making the brine next. Look at those, ooh. Got a couple pounds in there, probably two to three. I don't know, there's a lot. Let's go. All right, welcome to the kitchen. Gotta suit him up real quick first. Okay, get over here, you gotta help us. Boom, baby! You ready? <laughs> Sit there and supervise us. So, like I was saying, for the pre-measurements, everything is doubled right now. We have two and a third cups of the maple syrup, one and a third cup of honey, and half a cup of pickling salt, two and a third cups of brown sugar, tablespoon of red pepper flakes, and then the four cups. But, this is like, like I was saying, it's all doubled right now. What we're gonna do here to start with, we're gonna third up all the fish. It's way easier just to vacuum seal it and you can keep it some in the freezer if you want to give some to your friends, individual pieces, other than leaving them all in big solid chunks. All right, so we're just gonna cut these up real quick and roughly third them. I think that's the easiest way to do this. And this is what I'm saying, just for pieces like this, it's easier just to give to friends and family, just individual little packs other than leaving it all in one. And you can individually vacuum seal each one. Well, that's the plan. Just gonna dump in as we go. Now we're just gonna dump all this good stuff in there. This is a big recipe too. Oh yes. Oh, this is gonna be so sweet. I can't tell you how freaking pumped I am. A pickling salt, and then the pepper flakes. Oh, fabulous honey, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fantastic. Okay, now the best way to do this is just to go in there and just get dirty. Easiest way. Oh, I can't go fast. I'm gonna make a mess on the counter. How we doing there, Chief? Pretty good? He's holding the fort still. All right, so what we're gonna do is now, we're gonna put this in the fridge, probably leave it about four or five hours. We're gonna bring it out. We're gonna air dry it to speed the process up. And then we're gonna throw it in the smoker for about six hours. Probably add wood about three times, maybe four times and see what happens. So we just took it out of the brine now. We're gonna leave the fan on it all night. It's a way quicker process letting this dry. And the first thing I did is I took all the paper towel and we just patted them down gently you don't want to do is rinse it off and take all the brine off of it so we're gonna leave this all night and then in the morning we'll be able to put it in the smoker and probably do it in a couple batches because each tray is about a full smoker load in that old smoker all right here comes the most exciting part 
We got everything smoked now, or smoked in the brine. The brine is done. We just brought it in the garage. So like I was saying, one sheet is roughly a smoker load here. So we're gonna have to do this in two batches over six hours. So every couple hours, we gotta change the smoke chips out. These are the chips we're using. Alder wood chips right here. All the experts say this is the best stuff to use. So we're gonna continue using this. All right, so we're loading this thing up. You gotta put them really tight together or we're gonna be out of room. Oh yes, yes. There is so much syrup and honey on it. I couldn't wipe it all off either. It's gonna be so good. So about midnight tonight, we'll be done all of it because we're starting the first batch, it's about noon. So we let it go on the, the air dry quite a long time. Now, fill this. Don't be shy either. Load it. More. more, 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 more. Here we go. Now we have to change every two hours. It'll burn out roughly, roughly two hours. So you have to keep track and check it. Just like that. La -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. This is hard with one hand. What's wrong? The smoke is making me cough. It burned in our eyes. So we had to relocate in the we had to relocate in the garage because it got too cold. So it took a lot longer to smoke, probably about 12 hours. And full confession, <laughs> this is the second batch. So we already had a taste. All right, so now we're gonna pop the lid and we're gonna see what it looks like. Well, I already know what it looks like. It looks freaking good and it tastes amazing. Oh man, she is just cooking in there. The garage worked absolutely great. It kept it out of the wind. Cause we wasted half the time outside yesterday when it was in the wind. They're absolutely amazing. It turned out great. And obviously with all the maple syrup, the honey, it's 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 like candy. That's what they call it, salmon candy. It's so good. You have to try it. It's hard, it's hard to explain how good it is. Yeah. Right? It is. It's super it's really good. good. Just peel a quick piece off. Can I try it? Yep. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> Holy cow. Try a piece. Is it good? Yep. Yeah, it's good. That's all we got for this. So, see you guys next time.